Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. So this is a engagement ring box that I have made my own version of. The original design for this was created by user Degree of Freedom and they posted it onto the Mechanical Gifts subreddit. I saw it there and I was like, that's really cool. I'm going to reverse engineer that. So let's tell this to stop rotating. And I'm just going to be doing a quick breakdown of um, the, the different parts of this design for this video. And then I'm probably going to do a follow-up video where I go over how you can make this as well. Because the, the current timeline isn't exactly reflective of how it's actually made. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to enable um, the component color swatch. Um, which you can either click this button or normally I'll just do color here and then it's compo component color cycling toggle and I'll hit that. So now you can see that there are two different components and you can see the timeline is really well organized that it's all of one component, all of another component and then these are the assembly features. Um, so you'll also notice that I've made face sets so that makes it easier because it is two components that have a joint in between them by making this component and then having both of the other components in there I can copy the joint between them instead of having to do this joint more than once. So these are what the individual components look like and I'm gonna go ahead and isolate this. And you can see that the timeline is now missing all of the assembly features from the, the highest level assembly because it's only this component that is activated. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring back before this joint happened. So this is how the pieces were actually designed in a flat state. And I designed the top face first, so we're going to go ahead and activate and I'll turn visibility back on and then isolate this one. So let's run through the timeline on this part. So I made a sketch, made this mid plane, and let's jump to the end. So this one was actually made in a somewhat backwards way that a lot of these features such as the magnets were actually, the magnets were actually the last thing that I put in. Um, so when I do the, the full design video, I'll go over that whole process and show how to do it the way that I actually designed it. But in this case, I made the general outline with what I knew, um, and then from there added more and more stuff to it. Now let's take a look at our other piece. We're going to activate, activate the face set, and then we're going to jump to the end of the face set and come back before the jointing features. Now we're going to isolate this one. So as you can see, we have a magnet down here. When I 3D print it, I'm going to be really interested to see how this curve and the magnet interact. I added this so that in the open state, it'll have a nice closing behavior, but I don't know. I added this curve because it looked like some stuff intersected. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how that actually prints. Um, so that is this piece, and we can run through the design timeline here as well, where sketch, adding features, and then these last two are tolerancing features. All right, so now we can unisolate, activate this component. So that's what these two look like flat, and then putting them together. And then this rigid group is connecting the top plate with the assembly, which means that when I go here and jump to the end of the timeline, um, this piece is connected to that so that when I go like that, it doesn't move. Um, another feature that I'm using here is you'll notice that this only goes to 30. Um, that is because I've added joint limits. So 
it is constrained between 0 and 30. And I can do animate model, and that gives the nice rotation in and out. So let's stop this right now, um, and we'll turn off one of these faces. So as you can see, there are magnets that are going to connect those three faces in this state. And then if I bring this out to 30, there are also magnets that will be involved here connecting those two faces. And then we can go ahead and close this up again. So for this design, there is also motion links involved that these three joints are all motion linked together and then these three joints are all motion linked together that way stuff isn't able to partially rotate and then stop um, and that's motion linking in there all right so i think that's everything for this video and i'm going to be doing a follow-up video where i go over the actual design method and that one's going to be a little bit longer have a great day.